Welcome to Land Musings. Today, as you can see, I have a plotter unboxing. This was actually really hard for me to get here in Australia because it's actually just not available anywhere. So I was able to reach out to Hannah, also known as Ardently Hannah. She's got a YouTube here as well, so I will link it down below. And she was able to kindly help me get one of these. So it looks like we've got a few pamphlets and flyers here just about the plotter product and the assortment of leather covers that they have available. It's in Japanese at the back here too. Just a little sheet about their logo on the cover at the back there. Some more info about the leather and the binder. And let's now open up the plotter. So I ended up getting the Pueblo in black with the gold bar on the end. And I also managed to get the rings in gold. And the leather smells so good. I'm just going to bring you closer so you can see the grain on the leather. I think they do some sort of brushing technique to give it this kind of hairy look. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it any better, but in the back here, it looks like I've got some unique marks. But overall, it looks really smooth and lovely. And the inside here, it's just this more rustic leather. And there's the logo and some text there in the back. And yeah, some more marks here. But yeah, I don't mind it. I think it keeps it unique. Just having a closer look at the gold binder here. And I'll try to get it to focus so you can see the plotter logo. Yeah, that's so lovely. And I'm glad I managed to get it in the gold rings rather than the silver, which is what they'll be doing going forward. At least for the Pueblo planner, I think. And this card looks like a just fun definition of plotter. A few more plotter inserts in here. That's pretty cool. Each plotter planner has its own unique code. And more here are on the, the plotter planner and what it's used for and I guess their mission statement maybe. It's interesting how many precautions they have in this planner just for a leather bound rings cover. And this warranty card as well. Maybe it's a Japanese thing. I don't know. And another one of these cards. I think it's the same. They must pop it inside to protect the leather while it's in the packaging. What I'll do is just take these out. Oh wow, that was so easy. <laughs> I guess I'm used to having larger rings, so they're a little bit harder to push and release. But these rings are tiny, so... Okay, I got a couple other items. This band with the lifter and a ring supporter. So I'll pop these in the planner now. What this ring supporter is supposed to do is limit the rings from indenting the leather cover over time. So I think they just go around the rings. But I don't recall which way they're supposed to be inserted. I'm guessing something like this. And I don't know how we're supposed to put this in. Let me just look at these instructions. I have the rings open at the moment. And I don't think they go in the rings. Maybe I'll close the rings. 
And I'm guessing maybe they just slot into the rings. Maybe I'll try it from an angle. Okay, yeah, that seems to do the trick. I apologize if this is not the actual recommended method, but this will do for now. Hope I've popped that in correctly. I think it should be. Logically, I feel like that is correct. I mean, the other way would be not as aesthetically pleasing. And I feel like the plotter logo should be on the left. I think I'm happy with that. Um, if it does need to be changed, I can change it later anyway. Okay, and the next thing that I purchased was this band with lifter. And this is just something to keep the planner all nice and enclosed um, with an elastic band. And it is attached to this insert, which is just a piece of plastic with some world map and times and measurements. And I really like the look of it. So probably won't actually ever use it for the references and guides that it's there for but I think it looks pretty. So I'll be keeping this in the back of the planner and we'll just test out this elastic band. It's a little bit different to what I'm used to which is the traveler's notebook but yeah that seems pretty sturdy. I did get an additional piece that I'll be popping on this lifter. So I've got this look term 1917 pen loop and I'm thinking I might just stick it to this measurement side of the lifter. Plotter do have another insert that does have a pen loop but um, it seemed a bit chunky. So I'm gonna go with this one and it's had a lot of good reviews, so I think it's quite sturdy. The only thing is that I'm thinking I will pop it on the back of the lifter and not the front because I quite like the, um, the detailing on the front and I don't care for measurements side on the back here. So I'm thinking it will go here. Though I do think the way that it's being positioned, it is going to impact how the pen sits, but I don't mind too much about that. Well, we'll see. I'm trying to figure out which pen. Maybe the Sarasa Grand, because that's been a tried and true pen. I'll just see if there's anything else in here. No, I think we'll go with the Sarasa Grand. I also really like how the pen looks with this planner, so... Let's pop it in, make sure it fits. It is a tight fit, but it is elastic, so it'll stretch. Um, I am feeling that the angle is going to be impacted by it being upside down. I guess the alternative is popping it on this side and the right way up, but then it would cover the map and I'm not too keen on that. It is quite a sturdy piece of plastic. I do think I prefer the first option. Yeah, I'm just going to do it and you know what? If it if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I'll just buy another two of these things. But let's give this a go. Oh, it has quite a bit of stick to it, which is good. I'm just gonna pop this on while it's not in the rings, just to make sure I get this placement right. Actually, what I might do is reference my Moterm. Okay, here it is. Yeah, okay, so closer to the top but not too far up. Just gonna check that the Sarasa Grand will sit 
there nicely. Okay. Okay, let's pop her in. And it looks like it'd be the right height. Perfect. Yeah, it feels like it's um not sitting flush. Um and I think that's just because I have it upside down. Um but yeah, I guess that's fine. We'll we'll see how it goes. And this is the pen loop. So if you're keen to get that, that's the one I purchased. I also got these dividers, these um, thin clear dividers from Sweet Record Designs. Sorry, they're a bit dusty. They've been sitting on my dusty desk. So I got some with the tabs on the top and the tabs on the side. I think I'll be using the one with the tab on the side. I have yet to decide what the sections will be, but I do know there will be a monthly section and a weekly section. I'll just show you now. These are some inserts that I've been working on for Happy Mail Studios. Still got some minor adjustments to make, but I have cut up a couple pages um, to try out in my plotter. I do have some Filofax inserts I can pop in here as well. And this is from my Filofax back in 2005. And I think I used it for about three or four years and I haven't been in rings since. So these have been in storage for quite some time. And I'll just open these up and see what I can use and what I can't use. Okay, so from the paper inserts that I hoarded, um, I can use these lined pages and these blank beige pages. I also have these plastic pocket inserts. I think they were for business cards at the time, but yeah, I might find a use for them and maybe photos or something like that. Okay, so we have two of those pocket inserts and I also have this zipper pocket insert here as well which I'm thinking I'll pop in the back but I also don't want there to be too much bulk and I also want it to be comfortable when I'm writing. Mm, that zipper is quite large. I'm just going to test what it feels like. Yep, that's quite bulky. I think I'd rather not have that insert in there. I could do it without, honestly. And the other item I have here is just this ruler that slots in and out quite easily and can be used as a bookmark. I think I'll use the bookmark in my weekly pages, which will be what I'll be predominantly in, in this planner. So as I mentioned earlier, I have been working on some inserts, just some undated ones for my Happy Mail Studios shop. And these are just some samples. Like at the bottom here, I'll be removing that sixth row because that would be irrelevant. <laughs> but yeah just something I have been working on on the side. These ones here are my weekly inserts and they are undated so I will be sticking on my Happy Mail Studios stickers on these sheets. So we've got my monthly undated and my weekly undated sheets and I'm just gonna do a little bit of trialing. I actually haven't even done this off camera so this will be a good little exercise for me. And these stickers are all available on my Happy Mail Studios sticker shop, which I'll pop a link down below if you're interested in purchasing from there. Of course, you can just write these numbers and months in, 
but you know I find it a little bit of fun to use my stickers so that's what I'll be doing and I have a brain fade I can't recall what day the first was on let me just check my Hope weeks It was on a Monday. <laughs> okay, so that's an example of how it would look with my stickers on there. And I guess I'd have to do that 12 times or 13 if I wanted to pop December in there as well. And here are my weekly memo pages, kind of similar to the Hobo Weeks layout, but I guess a bit more minimal. So I'll just pop some numbers on these pages as well. And I also have some week number stickers, which I'd love to use on these pages. So week 27 we're in currently which is different I guess to the rest of the world um, yeah we start our week one in the beginning of the financial year which is in July so it being January we are in week 27 at least for this work planner we are <laughs> I've also got these this week or to do stickers I usually pop in a focus sticker at the top but I don't have that handy right now, so I'll just be using one of my sample sheets. I've also just printed this on some pretty shoddy printer paper, um, but I have ordered some Kukuyo 64 GSM paper, um, but it isn't coming until later in the month, so this will do for now. And the Kukuyo paper is actually fountain pen friendly, which is ideal, but I don't know if I'm going to use that for my work planner. So I also did buy some regular double A paper, which is still better than this shoddy paper that I have found in a drawer in my office. Okay, so I am thinking the month's pages will live in that first section. And the weeks will be in that second tab. So to recap, we have my month's pages in the first tab, week's pages in the second tab. And then I have rearranged the notes pages. So I have the lined notes pages in the third tab and the blank beige pages at the back. Just wondering if these week stickers would fit in here. I'd have to hole punch it a certain way, but I guess I could. Something to think about for another day, I think. <laughs> so I haven't put too much in there so far, and that's how it's looking in terms of bulk. I'm thinking I'd probably have maybe all of the month's pages in there and then three months worth of the week's pages in there as well and then I'd have a quarter of week's pages to work with. Just trying out my pen in the pen loop seeing that it fits in there well. Yeah it's it's doing that weird thing where it sits further back rather than toward the front but it might actually be a blessing in disguise because then it won't hit the tabs. I really like the uh, green and gold against this black cover as well. I also have some tab labels that I bought from 1521 Studios. So I'll grab those as well and hopefully I'll find some suitable labels. So you just got a sneak peek into my new Philo facts there as well. Yes, I did buy two rings planners for 2024, but I'll talk about that in another video. But this is the 1521 Studios tab stickers. 
and I'll leave a link down below if you'd like to purchase these from her shop. So that worked out really well. I have a monthly tab, weekly, to-do and also a notes tab at the back there. And I guess that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for joining me in unboxing my new Plotter Pueblo Planner and watching me set it up with my Happy Mail Studios and also items from other shops from people in this community. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more planning, journaling content, please feel free to subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.